Welcome back to Sports Federation TV. If you've tuned in, you've missed the first two segments of our show where we chatted to Olympian Rocky, Rocco van Rooyen. We chatted to Molne Lowe, a squash player. You can catch our repeats tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Our partners on our show are the Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation. One of their members is the Western Cape Equestrian Association. Equestrian referring to horses, and they are a huge organization which have different disciplines. One of the disciplines is Cape Cart Horse. Mr. Samuels, you well? Yes, I'm well very much. Thank you to good. invite us to the show. Good, good. Mr. Khali, all good? All good, thank you. Good. Invite us. Mr. Samuels, Cape Cart Horse, explain to us what this is all about. So people have an understanding of where, how this all came about and what it is. Yes. The Cape Cart Horse is basically what we see. As soos my mense ding miskien as a descript karpere. Mm. En ons is ons kyk terug eers in 1968, when the show start, wat in spere die skou begin het, mm. waar die SPCA self die skou gereel het, en die reed ook wel het gereel het die skou het, is basically om die mense te kyk om mooi te kyk na hulle, en hulle perde, en yep. hulle tuig, en allemaal mooi. En die prijs wat hulle gegeet vir daar die mense, en daar die tijd vir die eerste plek, was so miskien een baal losering, mm. en een sak voer, wat ewer het is, daar is basically net om, dat hulle pere, mooi, die die, die nie pere volseere is hier, ja. dat hulle die mooiheid van hulle pere moet kan sien. En, en we progressed a long way from there, I mean, yes. now you, the horses cost how much, Mr. Khali? Well, the range up from 20,000 to 200,000, all depends what you want to pay for those, if it's a good horse. For one horse? Yes. Sure. And a card, Mr. Samuels, what does a card cost? Yes, you got different cards according to the cards that you used before. Mm. If you like, it's most like antique these days. Yes, yes. You're talking about the 50s, the 30s, or 40s, where the doctor was driving with a car. Yes. And the doctor went to, to see to the patient, whatever mm. it is. That card, you will have to pay now around about, say, about 40 to 50,000, 45,000 rand. Wow. So this is an expensive it's sport. It's very expensive very sport, but in the case that we do it, we try to. It's like our fathers before would leave things behind. Mm. And now the children are using that. Okay. You see, and as was kicking now, now is the 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 free will carrying key where also with the social say the spider. Mm. A spider could be also for five years this around. Then there's the ungefoured spider what from America have come and from Holland have come, where the means to thirty, five and thirty days and run for half for every carrying key. The shell has got with the teig. Mm. Or can over the near teig carry, where it a teig can go for two days and run, a days and run. Mm. tot op na 10.000 rand per dag. Ingevoerde tijd voor komen tot 15.000 rand. So het gebeur nie net die in Zuid-Afrika, en het gebeur die hele wereld vol. Die hele wereld, die is so'n goeie okay. sport, as ons kyk in Zuid-Afrika sy self, ja. as ons in die tweede skou, wat die grootste in Zuid-Afrika is, maar ons is meer aan nie as die underprivilege, mm. as ons praat, ons is meer te doen met die underprivilege mense, ja. en vir op te lig, mm. en vir in die bietere lig te sit, en waar hulle kyk na peer, waar peer, a baie goeie ding is, mm. waar pere net a pere te sê, waar hy amper sy companion is vir jou self, yeah. en waar hy amper sy, so, 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 vir rehabiliteit, yeah. waar ons die pere, even hulle gebruik die pere, en lik, om die kinders wat op die drag is, die krimmeneels, mm. mm. en, hulle doe, vat die pere om vir hulle te help, om skoon te maak, om liefde vir pere, om hulle mens weg te kry, van, kyk, ons is kou, die kyk, ons is society, mm. elke jaar, het ons tot 300 kinders op ons is kou, wow, En soos kyk, yes. paie van die mense, paie van die be- persoene wat die pere het, hmm. hulle, hulle kinders het die pere, wat die karinkie, en dan kry ons die kinders van buiten af die straat okay. kinders, ja. dat hulle ook uh, in, in plek moet vat op ons skou, hmm. en ons reel met ons, 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 ons members, dat hulle my karinkie sê vir hulle. Okay. En die kinders raak so lief, en soos kyk, ons kan bewys, waar in Elsie's River, in Bondewel, Oorhal kan gaan kyk in die achterjaarte, want daar die mens is allemaal hmm. wat hier die skou gedoen het, waar die pere, mense pere het verdag, en waar hulle kinders, ons kan kyk, as mense wat groot gangsters gewees het, hmm. kinders wat groot draks gewees het, ja. wat even drak loods gewees het, hulle allemaal hmm. pere verdag, en as ek kyk na die mense, as bring soma bittere mens uit hulle, hmm. en sy kan die goedheid sien van die kinders en van die groot mense, wat, ja. wat het die pere gemaakt kan hulle, hmm. daar word die sy baie goeie sport, en ons sal ook sê, sê dat hier die sport, wat ons het, dat ons een mense paie weet van die sport het, bykoos ja. ons een sport in meeste in die achterjaard hou, mm. maar as ons kyk vandag, die Zuid-Afrikaanse jong kampioen pere, die Zuid-Afrikaanse jong kampioen beste Mary of Hings, of Hek nie Pony, of Walliese Pony, ja. staan in ons bruin mense in die achterjaard. Sure, sure. Ons kompeteer met wit uh, mense wat ook pere het, maar as ons kyk ons een pere, ons een bruin mense is eerste mense hier in Zuid-Afrika, 
wat die mooiste tijd gereed het, die mooiste kerkie, bykos onze voorvaders, en onze, 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 onze vaders, onze voorvaders, hulle is die mens wat hierdie goed gemaakt het, ja. hulle was die tijdemakers, hulle het allemaal hierdie dinge gedoen. Ja, Mr. Gali, let's move slightly to, to what's happening, when you go, take us through a show, what does a show work? Well, what show like Mariesburg, for any example? Show, any show, cost, people get an understanding of how cost, a show works. It costs a lot of money, number one. Yeah. For example, me going to Mariesburg now will cost mm. you up to 15,000 rand. Sure. Yeah, I must hire a truck, mm. uh, get the uh, accommodation for my parents, for yeah. myself and my wife, whatever. Yeah. And then it costs you, it actually costs you a lot of money. And, and in terms of, uh, the, the, you're going to need to take your horse there, your cart yes, and yes. spares. Like you said, spiders. Mm. Your, 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 uh, your, it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of thing. It's preparation, yep. actually. You know, we prepare two months in advance already for the show. Okay. Each show. You know, we've got Muriesburg, uh, Heidelberg, we've got Beaufort West for the Issa mm. It's a, it's, 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 it's a cost, uh, you know, uh, keep, uh, actually. Yeah, and, and in terms of in, uh, the quarantine, how does the quarantine work? Because if you move out of a certain radius, how does it work? You actually, know? each horse must have a passport. Oh. Yeah, like you're human, you got a passport? Yes, yes, Each yes. Each one's got a passport. Okay. I cannot go to Marysburg without a passport. So what does the passport entail? How does it uh, work? Uh, it, it was weird. Uh, it, it, the passport works like this. Your horse, your horse must be injected for a special virus. Okay. That they, a live virus that they inject into the horse mm. to keep the other virus away from the horse. Okay. If that virus attack the horse, whatever, then that virus is in the horse will fight with the one virus, will fight virus. with another virus. Okay. And that will keep the horse safe. Do you stable at home? Where do you stable? How does it work? I stable at home, yes. Okay. So explain that process to me. Do you need a permit? How does it work? No, you don't need a permit. Your place must be clean. Yeah. And uh, like. I've got two helpers that help me at home. Okay. To help me with my stable with horses. It's just, and um, yeah, that's about it. So take me through it, an, a normal day of a horse. What would a horse be doing? Or how would a normal day operate? Well, actually my father looks after the horses okay. while I'm, I'm working. Yes. So he'll come in the morning, he'll sit the workout for the guys. Mm. They'll clean the stables every day, put new uh, 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 sawdust in, and they'll feed the horses like three times a day, water three times a day. Uh, things like that. Okay. And, and what does that cost you to, to, uh, to stable well, a horse at home? Me, personally, if I've got about, say, 10 horses at the moment, it costs me plus minus 12, 15,000 a month. That's without my labor cost. Sure. For my guys. Sure. And, and to maintain a cart? And actually, the cart to maintain is, it's, 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 you, you're going to be the best. Yes. You must actually stand out. Mm. Like each one will do that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And coming back to the passports yes. and the injections, uh, like uh, you see, um, each horse must have a passport mm. and must be injected. And when you're at the show, the doctors will come around, the vet will come around to check the passports and the, 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 the markings in the book if that's a correct horse. 